Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Battle of Bannockburn. King Robert the Bruce is the general of this army. He is, has a noble swordsman and a powerful bunch of Scottish generals with him. King Edward the Second is um, commanding the English army against the Scottish. Along with Humphrey de Vuer, who is a French general and a friend to Edward the Second. He's on and rallied a few French knights to go help the English against the Scots. We're gonna hopefully defeat the uh, defeat the bloody English and the French and kick their ass. So let's begin. The next battle we're gonna be doing is trying to recreate the Battle of the Bulge, which you don't know what that was about. That was during World War Two. The one of the battles that led. When the Americans, I believe, mean, obviously had tanks, obviously, but the, I believe the, Eng the, the fucking British armies and the American armies came over and tried to def and defeated the German German army, who was quite powerful and actually managed and took many um, uh, American losses, and the Germans had no tanks. I believe they had one Tiger tank, and that was it. Right. I want them to meet the French in open combat. So we keep them there for now. Question of all what France do. See what the French guys do. Right. Have a quick look at the French. Yeah, they are French armies. It's Humphrey de Vua. The ignorant little bit, where is he? There is. Ignorant little bitch. So yeah, along with his knights, have we got England over here, who's got a bit of a mountain advantage. Overall okay army, of course he doesn't have the superiority against us. And you're right, we do have the better number of men, so that should be in our advantage. Those are decent knights, ready to do battle against the English. Historically, Robert the British command a smaller army, but... I thought he'd make it a little bit better. What's the first move? I think I might make that me. We should be able to defeat these guys pretty openly. I see him. Right over there quickly, actually. We're gonna come down the mountain pass. We'll be ready for them. I don't know if it rained or not. Whatever. Well, Also, historically, the Scottish won it, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll have to charge at them. Well, I say charge. The English and the Scottish are going to have a big blow, though.
English arm is on the way. Okay, cool little shot with Scotland. English arm is ready to do battle. No, I'm not. They are gonna charge. The English arm is heading that way. And the Barthas were in victory, apparently. Oh, Martin. Is that one? No, no. Nice. Don't want to miss the charge with England, that's for sure. Only half the enemy force remains. I'm talking about the French army, I believe. We will need, we need to wipe out the French cavalry, then we can get over to, to help out everyone else. Help out the it, Scottish army against the English, the main host, I guess. We can rout the French army, that would be nice. Not there yet. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Right, now it's now the time to go over there. Alright. Shall we let them charge at us or shall we go and actually do some damage? I think we go there I think we kill the damage ourselves. Make sure they'll charge at them. Also, this epic charge. And look at this. It's gonna be brilliant. A clash right in the middle. Oh, I wouldn't pass them all. Right, anyway. Epic charge. That. It's gonna be a very nice battle, this one. It's gonna be quite a good battle. All my battles are good, but this is nice. The knights are gonna be the real pain in the backside. He is exactly doing what I want him to do. Charge right there's the general at the back. You can play this right. Yeah, um, ready men though. <gasps> if Robert the Bruce was not in his army, the English would have fucked them up. <laughs> Riley screwed them, really. I'm hoping that charge at the general would hopefully distract their armies. AI didn't really think stupid. There you go. The enemy nice. Lies dead. We have set the car to hell. Brilliant. I right, finished off the last of them. 
There's no way they're coming back from that. Concentrate their attack. Concentrate full fire for full fire. Who's still fighting? It's about actual clips of the battle. Easy victory. Uh, we did a battle of the bolds and then we're going to some Westeros battles. Probably the two battles of the Battle of the High Tower. Two of them. Um, we did a battle of the House of Rain version and the. We do the one with House of Rain in and we do the one with um, House Allen in it. <laughs> Make sure these. Yeah, they're going for another charge. We give them steel, though. Those cavalry are still pretty dangerous, so we need to give them steel. Not sure what the odd French troops are doing. That's a bit too many men, that battle. Yeah, they knew to do that. That's an easy victory for us now. It says this is the battle that basically won England. There you go. The Drizars, we lost quite a lot of men, but um, Scotland is now free from the English. The English lost their king and lost England. The French army, will, the France, will never again help England. The French do got away, but they have no ties to England anymore. Edward the Second is gone. Edward the Second is dead, and England is basically screwed. So basically, it now the English have ran for their lives and the Scots are now free of, and now can become king. So they can rule, them, rule themselves like the King of the North, <laughs> like the Starks did. But anyway, that was a brilliant battle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The next battle will be the Battle of the Bulge, which we'll try and recreate as best we can. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this um, battle and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.